Hi everybody, this is Indiana Jack, and today this is the unboxing of a Garmin Dash Cam 35, one of their newer dash cams. Really a great system. Let's open it up. Everybody's talking about dash cams these days. Everybody, even four-wheelers, because we realize it's something that we need to protect ourselves from other people, other lawyers, and to prove our innocence. So this is the dash cam, comes in a nice box. Really a great little unit here. This little ball, where the uh, ball goes in there is how you mount, mount it to the windshield. And it also comes with a charging cord to plug in. Of course we need that and some other cords and a really cool manual that you can read in perfect English. You know what? It's so simple that anybody can use it and that's what I liked most about it and that's what I'm going to tell you about today. When I said it was easy to use, I meant it and to get to the menus is very simple. You simply turn it on On the side, you can see the buttons. There's only four different buttons, and there's no sub-menus is what I like about it. Not press this one twice, press this one three times, you know, to get what you want to do. It's just a simple up and a down, yes, and an undo. That's it. And there you can see that. And if I want to save a video just push that button right there and it saves the video it's that easy and if i want to if i want to take a picture i'm not really sure why you'd want to take a picture because most of the time you can uh, pull a picture out of video but you press the second button right there and it takes a picture right there Let's check out some footage. I do have some footage of this in my semi-truck where most of us truckers are going to be using it. However, I re recommend that you have it in your uh, four-wheeler also. But let's watch this footage. And continuing on in our mini review of the Garmin Dash Cam 35, let's say you do have an accident and someone uh, hits you and you want to show the officer the footage, you hit this button twice and you simply go to the gallery right there and then let's uh, say yes. That check marks, it means yes. And we'll go, let's say, to the saved set, uh, videos. And we'll scroll down a little bit to one that I made the other day. And then let's say, yeah, that one. And you can say, officer, look, I'm, a I'm innocent. They ran into the front of my truck. I had a friend the other day. He, uh, somebody backed into him. And he had no proof that they backed into him. It looked like he had hit someone else. I told him, if you would have only had this, Colton, you would have be proved yourself innocent in a court of law and, and, and a ticket. It's a nice, crystal clear display, and that's what I like to see. And if there is an event, something that happens, and you don't hit the button, 
like a heartbreaking situation or even if somebody pulls in front of you it automatically saves the uh, event whatever it was right there in a little folder called events and then you can go to it same thing and it saved this event even though I'm not sure what it what it was saving uh, someone might have pulled too close but I'm not sure what why it saved the event um, but it's better to have it uh, safe better to be safe than sorry um, one thing on the bottom it, it puts a time stamp a date stamp and GPS it has a GPS built right into it so uh, there's proof that you were where you say you were and vice versa so it it totally proves you to be innocent and it totally backs up your logs. I've been hearing more and more people asking what is a good camera unit to buy. Uh, this one certainly is adequate of what you'll need to face forward and protect you for 90% of the problems that can happen to you. I'm even hearing this like on Leo Laporte He's a tech reporter guy. People are calling him and asking him what's the best uh, dash cam to buy. This would certainly be in that category. Not for just truckers, but for four-wheelers as well, because they need to be protected also against other four-wheelers. Pros and cons, I have them listed here. My, my first pro is it's easy to use. You saw I barely did anything to show you just about everything that this does. It does just what you needed to do, no more than that. And number two on my pros list, it has a built-in GPS. I really liked that about it. The cons, the two cons that I could find were it doesn't have a second camera. I do like that feature on some of them out there, but this one doesn't have that so you don't get to protect what's behind you so that would be a con and lastly it doesn't have a suction cup you have to use sticky tape and stick it up on your windshield and that's where it's going to stay unless you get another mount you know another sticky uh, tape uh, and then move it around so you make sure once you put it um, on your windshield that that's where you want it because I, I, th I really think that a, a suction cup is a better way to go but Garmin didn't agree with me on that this is the Garmin dash cam 35 I'm Indiana Jack thank you for watching this mini tech review we'll see you next time on adventures in trucking Hi everybody, this is Indiana Jack, and today this is the unboxing of a Garmin Dash Cam 35, one of their newer dash cams. Really a great system. Let's open it up. Everybody's talking about dash cams these days. Everybody, even four-wheelers, because we realize it's something that we need to protect ourselves from other people, other lawyers, and to prove our innocence. So this is the dash cam, comes in a nice box. Really a great little unit here. This little ball, where the uh, ball goes in there is how you mount, mount it to the windshield. And it also comes with a charging cord to plug in. Of course we need that and some other cords and a really cool manual that you can read in perfect English. Press the second button right there and it takes a picture right there. Let's check out some footage. I do have some footage of this in my semi truck where most of us truckers are going to be using it. However, I re recommend that you have it in your uh, four-wheeler also. But 
Let's watch this footage. And continuing on in our mini review of the gun. If there is an event, something that happens and you don't hit the button, like a heartbreaking situation, or even if somebody pulls in front of you, it automatically saves the uh, event, whatever it was, right there in a little folder called events. And then you can go to it, same thing. And it saved this event, even though I'm not sure what it, what it was saving. Uh, someone might have pulled too close, but I'm not sure wh why it saved the event. Um, but it's better to have it uh, safe, better to be safe than sorry. Um, one thing on the bottom, it, it puts a time stamp, a date stamp, and GPS. It has a GPS built right into it, so... Uh, there's proof that you were where you say you were and vice versa. So it it totally proves you to be innocent and it totally backs up your logs. I've been hearing more and more people asking what is a good camera unit to buy. Armin Dashcam 35. Let's say you do have an accident and someone uh, hits you and you want to show the officer the footage, you hit this button twice. And you simply go to the gallery right there. And then let's uh, say yes. That check marks, me. it means yes. And we'll go, let's say, to the saved set of videos. And we'll scroll down a little bit. To one that I made the other day and then let's say yeah that one and you can say officer look I'm in, I'm innocent they ran into the front of my truck I had a friend the other day he uh, somebody backed into him and he had no proof that they backed into him it looked like he had hit someone else I told him if you would have only had this Colton you would have be Proved yourself innocent in a court of law and, and, and a ticket. It's a nice crystal clear display and that's what I like to see. And you know what? It's so simple that anybody can use it and that's what I liked most about it and that's what I'm going to tell you about today. When I said it was easy to use, I meant it. And To get to the menus is very simple. You simply turn it on. On the side you can see the buttons. There's only four different buttons and there's no sub menus is what I like about it. Not press this one twice, press this one three times, you know, to get what you want to do. It's just a simple up and a down, yes and an undo. That's it. And there you can see that. And if I want to save a video, just push that button right there and it saves the video. It's that easy. And if I want to, if I want to take a picture, I'm not really sure why you'd want to take a picture because most of the time you can uh, pull a picture out of video, but you press